In Matthew's version of the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says that his followers are to be both salt and light for the world. But what does that mean? Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the first thing that it means is that we are to be humble. Light is not meant to draw attention to itself, but to make it possible for people to see something else or someone else. In this case, Jesus says that our good deeds are a light, which point people to our Heavenly Father in order to give glory to God, who has done good things in and through us. And salt is very humble because it shouldn't draw attention to itself either, but should enhance what it is mixed into. So we too should bring out the goodness in others. Salt is also a preservative, and so we are called to preserve the goodness of creation which, according to the book of Genesis, God made and pronounced good. Sin and evil destroy the goodness of creation, and so in fighting sin both in ourselves and in the world, we are helping to preserve the original goodness of creation. We are working against those forces that spoil the world, including the human person. In John's Gospel, Jesus declared that he is the light of the world, and it makes sense that he would also call his followers that, because now, through baptism, we are the body of Christ. As you think about that today, consider ways that you can enlighten others, helping them to know God's love. Consider also how you might be able to affirm and bring out the goodness of others so that they will be encouraged to become even better. If you can do that, you will be the salt and light that Jesus is calling you to be.